All right. Anthony Joshua has gone full-blown delusional. Alert, alert. Anthony Joshua has gone full-blown delusional. It is a lucky punch (laughs) that Andy Ruiz landed and a gift from God that he got to beat Anthony Joshua the first time. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, thank you to the Patreon. Thank you to everybody that supports in the live streams with the the Cash App, the Super Chats. Much, much, much appreciated. Man, Andy, you know, back when there were a lot of AJ fans, you remember that back in the day? Back in the day when the world was just... In the good old days where Anthony Joshua was holding four majors championship belts, he had the WBC, he had the WBA, he had the WBO, and he even had the, you know, the, 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 the top, the number one belt in the world, the IBO. You remember that? You remember when they were talking about how he would beat Lennox Lewis, how he beat Muhammad Ali? Remember all those good, the good old days? Back when AJ had a bunch of fans, they used to use this word called delusional. It is a go-to phrase of the AJ, of the AJ fans, AKA AJ protectors, AKA Eddie Hearn fanboys. They, you love this word and the word is, uh, is delusional. (laughs) Sorry about that. You're delusional. Oh, what do you mean? Deontay Wilder, he done fought nothing but bums. You're delusional. Who has he fought? You're delusional. You remember that? You're, I know if you've talked to enough AJ fans out the UK, you've been called delusional many times. Well, I have to say now that AJ is without a doubt delusional <laughs> because he says that Anthony Joshua knocked him out, knocked him down four times. In two separate rounds, excuse me, two times in two separate rounds, four times total with a lucky punch. How does a one punch knock you down four times? How does that work? The only lucky thing about Anthony and Andy Ruiz's punch was that it luckily landed on somebody with a glass jaw. <laughs> That was what was lucky about the punch. He was lucky that whenever he hit that glass chin, it rattled, shake, shook, and broke. That's what was lucky. Anthony Joshua, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Anthony Joshua must be under a lot of pressure, a lot of strain, a lot of weight on them shoulders because He is saying and doing things that are just absolutely, they're just uncharacteristic. No squares in my circle. Cuz. Straight G's. Cuz. Why is this dude out there doing a Snoop Dogg impersonation, man? Look, man, you, it was not a lucky punch and you are not Snoop Dogg. Stop talking about squares in my circles, cuz. All right? Stop it. (laughs) Be real, man. Is it is it is it too much to ask for Anthony Joshua just to be himself? I really and truly believe, man, that this guy would be a much better fighter and a much happier person if he would just be, if he would just be himself, man. Just be yourself. Don't talk, don't try to say things and do things just to make people like you. Oh, or give some false impression of who you are, whether it is being really jovial and polite and wearing, you know, your Brooks Brothers suits, your tight Brook Brothers suits, all of that stuff. You know, if that's not you, don't do that. Just be true to yourself. But also be just be true and respectful of your competition. Man. Andrew Ruiz is a better fighter than Anthony Joshua. He's a better fighter. Now, Anthony Joshua has advantages over Andy Ruiz, which might allow Anthony Joshua to win the rematch. 
it there there's a way I can see Anthony Joshua winning a rematch. He's bigger than Andy Ruiz. He's longer than Andy Ruiz. I think he's probably stronger than Andy Ruiz. I do. He proved that he could hit hard enough to put Andy Ruiz down. So there's advantages. There's advantages that he has. But he's not as good a boxer. His hands are not as fast. He's not. He doesn't have as much heart. He didn't have, obviously, his chin relative to the punches, right? Anthony, Andy Ruiz could take Anthony Joshua's punches better than Anthony Joshua could, took, could take Andy Ruiz's, which is why, and Andy Ruiz managed to get hit with something once and then not allow Anthony Joshua to hit him with it again. Well, I'm actually, I think he might have hit him with a straight right again. And he just, and he took it. He was like, oh, okay, All right, got, I got it and handled it. Or, you know, maybe there wasn't as much steam in it because Anthony Joshua had lost some of, you know, lost a lot of energy by the fact that he had to keep getting up off the, off the ground during the fight. But I, I fear, I fear with the way that this dude's talking, the way Anthony Joshua's talking, I fear that it's not too much longer for this guy. If you're not going to accept, first of all, there's a bunch of guys that came out and said that they would help Deon, that it, they would help Anthony Joshua. That Anthony Joshua needed to find a new ne needed to find a new trainer. There's different things that they that he needed to do. That's to be expected. Shout out to 78 Sports TV. I don't want to steal his idea. I'm uh, gonna credit him with what he said. There's a lot of you know, there's a lot of snakes out there. A lot of people that are gonna see look to try to take advantage of Anthony Joshua. Why he's down. And they want to get on that bad. They want to get on the bandwagon, right? So I can understand why Anthony Joshua might be hesitant, uh, you know, hesitant about hesitant about taking on new train, new trainers, new people into his circle. That's reasonable, man. That's reasonable. But you know that there are improvements that must be made. And how do you know that there's improvements that must be made on Anthony Joshua's side? The fact that he got knocked down four times. And he quit up against the ropes with his with his mouthpiece on the ground. The better thing to do, and I've said this about in other scenarios with other boxers, in other fights, other situations, life situations too. The best way to go about something like this is pretty much the opposite of what of what Anthony Joshua was doing. Assume that the person beat you because there was something that was wrong with you. Assume that the person beat you. And that they and you couldn't figure out what they were doing. And you had to walk back to your corner and ask your ref, ask your coach what, what he hit you with and what do you think he's going to do next? Maybe you need to you need to assume that that is a problem with you, that it's not a problem with Anthony, that it's not a problem with Andy Ruiz. And also assume that Andy Ruiz didn't get lucky because he didn't. Andy Ruiz did not get through all those amateur fights. Andy Ruiz did not get all the, get through all those professional fights with being lucky. He's a highly he's a highly skilled fighter, and I don't care whether or not he looks has a dazed look on him. If he looks like Baby Huey, look, man, looks can be deceiving. You know, the cat obviously doesn't. If you look at him in his face on camera, no, he doesn't look. They don't look like he's some big killer. He don't look like somebody that he doesn't look like he's somebody that could beat Anthony Joshua. But this ain't Mr. Olympia. It's not Mr. Olympia. This is not a weightlifting contest. This is not a bodybuilding. This is not a this is not a deadlift competition. It's not a bench press competition. Even though I'll sell you, man, in a bench press competition, big big old dude like that might be able to get some of them plates up too. But most important thing, man, is man, Andy, you got to admit when you need to make improvements. And like I said before, I say in other videos, excuses are tools of incompetence used to build monuments of nothing. And people that use them, that use them, rarely amount to anything. Anthony Johnson, Anthony Johnson, I sh yeah, and I said that I should say that on purpose. That's one of the, my favorite subscribers, Anthony John, Anthony Johnson. Anthony Joshua is going to be in a lot of trouble. Man. The worst thing that could happen to him is this fight go to go to go to. Uh, Saudi Arabia, and he had 
all kind of problems. Emotion it seemed like he had emotional problems in New York. What kind of problems is this guy going to have in the in the UK? I mean, in Saudi Arabia. Man, I don't know. And I kind of feeling sorry for him because I was hoping that we could really get that this could be, you know, that we'd be able to get the Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder fight. I referenced earlier in the conversation about the UK fans that used to do all that talking, used to do all that talking. They don't come around. They don't come around here no more. <laughs> they they dropped off the earth. They they might pop their head up every once in a while, like with Dillian, when Dillian White stuff was going on and they had, you know, the Dillian White was the mandatory before Dillian White test positive. Yeah, they would come around a little bit for that. They would talk about that a little bit. You know, they were getting some encouragement because they could still talk bad about Deontay Wilder. But then after he popped dirty for D-ball and loaded and fake, well, they actually didn't get any trouble for the gloves. But after that, they, you know, they settled down. So honestly, man, I'm hoping for the good of the conversation, the boxing conversation, that we can get some of these guys back. Anthony Joshua can get his act together, put a good fight up against Anthony Andy Ruiz. Enough of a good, enough of a good show where people don't completely lose faith in Anthony Joshua. I do believe, I remember what some people said about Anthony Joshua that I took to heart, that, you know, that they're, that, that the UK boxing fans, they need somebody to, to really believe in. And Anthony Joshua was that guy for a lot of them. So, you know, anyway, it is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. With that, I'm out. Peace.